Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have created the cluster. And in this video, we'll be creating a task definition using JSON. And uh, we'll be talking about uh, the JSON code in detail. So let's go ahead and start. So this is the cluster that we have created in the previous video, which in which there are no tasks running. So coming to this video, we'll be creating the task definitions. So click that. So right now we don't have any task definitions. So coming to uh, a task definition in Amazon ECS serves as a blueprint for your application when launching the task. You provide a task definition informing the service about uh, the Docker image, the number of containers, and uh, the resource allocation for each container. Essentially, it guides ECS on how to run your application. So that is what uh, the task definition. So if you create it, there are two ways. So if you create the task definition so this is one way where you can uh, create without the json code so you have to manually add everything but in this video we'll be creating a json so let me go back here so let me click the task definitions and uh, if you select the drop down here you have uh, create a new task definition with a json so click that and uh, here you have uh, the json right so let me add the code uh, from the uh, documentation. So this is the code that we have. So let me go uh, in detail. So coming to the first one of family, which is sample Fargate. So this is the name of the task definition family. So it's a way to group multiple versions of the same task definition. So that is what the family is coming to the next one, which is network mode. So here we, we have AWS VPC. So it, it specifies the networking mode for this task. So in this case, it sets the AWS VPC, which is a virtual private cloud. And uh, coming to the next one, which is container definitions. So it's an array of uh, containing, uh, containing definitions for containers within the task. So coming to the name. So this is the name of the container, which is a Fargate app. And coming to the image, the Docker image uh, to use uh, for the container. So in this case, it's the latest version of Apache HTTP server. So that is what uh, it is coming to the next one, which is port mapping. So it specifies how the container maps to the host machine. It exposes to port 80 on this container, as you can see here, here. And uh, which is also mapped to port 80 on the host machine, which is the next one. And the protocol is the TCP. And uh, coming to the next one, it, it is essential, which is true. So it indicates that the task cannot run without this container. And second thing is entry point. So it specifies the entry point for the container. In this case, it starts with a shell. And uh, coming to the command, it contains the command to execute uh, when the container starts. It's essential uh, runs a shell command to create a HTML file and starts the Apache HTTP server, right? So we have, uh, uh, the code here. So I'll just leave it as default or else you're gonna you can just uh, change the names according like Amazon is to sample app or you can just add your own uh, name here as well. So coming to the next one, which is uh, requires compatibilities. So this indicates that this task definition is compatible with AWS Fargate. And the last one, which is CPU and memory. Coming to the CPU, it specifies the amount of CPU units to allocate uh, to the task. And coming to the memory, it specifies the amount of memory in megabytes to allocate uh, to this task. So that is what uh, the code that uh, we are using here. So finally, you can just click create. So that is how we can create the task uh, definitions. And uh, coming to the next one, we'll be creating the service and doing the service and finally cleaning up it in the next video. Coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. If you've liked the video, please click the like below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.